Welcome. I am seeing somebody. I'm excited. I'm actually going to see if I can see myself on my own iPad. This is super exciting. I don't know about comments. Where am I at? Oh, look it. Oh my goodness. I can see comments. Are you seeing me? I don't, I don't know. Am I the right way? I, I'm not seeing myself. Let's see. We're spinning. Hmm, live chat. One person. Huh. What is the deal? One waiting. <gasps> there I am. Ah, it's super excited. There's kind of a delay. So, okay. Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm seeing myself. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't know if anyone can hear me. Um, send some, uh, let me know. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, I am literally just playing around on my iPad right now. So hopefully we're good. Um, I'm gonna turn it up. Uh, I can hear myself, yay, I did it. <laughs> Uh, it says one is waiting. Okay, let's see if we have people on. One is watching. That's probably myself, but either way, yay! Welcome! It's Mary Jo Snyder of MJ Shady Inkers, and I am here live on YouTube, and I'm really excited. Um, feel free to share this video. I kind of have like a generic um, thing going on when you see me in the little icon picture type thing. Um, but I'm able to change that. So I'll change that after I'm done with the video so that I have a different graphic up there. But we are going to use this awesome kit today. It is National Pets Day. So happy day to all of your pets. And oh, I have three people watching. Yay! I'm excited. Leave some comments. Um, share the video. I'm really excited. Yay! I'm so excited about this. So welcome. Um, I I, I'm, I'm excited. So this is a new kit from the kit collection. I did put the um, item number. I believe the description of the video is below on YouTube. So the item number is available in the description of this video. And I believe there is a link to shop my online store. So, and you can always um, post here and add comments and whatnot. And I will hopefully have time. Hello. I just saw Melissa pop on. Hello, Melissa. Yay. It's so exciting. I have Vicki. Hello. Thank you. Make sure you're subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. But the item number for this is 163876. And we are going to point down and get to crafting. I'm going to make each, um, there's four different designs to this, um, this um, kit. And it's got the cute little animals. And I thought it was most appropriate. I'm so glad that it is in my, it was in my, um, box of goodies that I had to break into um, to get this out. I was glad that it came. All my stuff came yesterday, so we'll be doing some sneak peeks of some more stuff um, from pre-order, which demonstrators can get their hands on, as well as anyone wanting to buy the starter kit from me. So you can buy the starter kit, not from me, but you can buy your starter kit under me. You would be on my team and I would love that so much. So I'd be happy to have you on my team. So we are gonna do one each of these cards and then um, I'm hoping that I am going to a um, event on Saturday. It is a no frills event. So I'm gonna take probably the remainder of this kit and the one I featured in episode one. Um, and I'm going to make a couple alternate projects and I'm going to post photos, hopefully um, either Sunday or Monday, depends on my time frame, because I'm still trying to get some stuff ready for my upcoming event on October. No, I said October, May 4th. I have another event in October that I've pre-scheduled and I have not shared that information yet because we want to get you all excited about this catalog and not worry about things that are upcoming. Um, Cause we want this new stuff, right? Absolutely. Now this is a kit that you can get your hands on now. It's not a pre-order thing. It is a kit that is available. Um, they offer two new kits in the kit collection every month and they are available to customers um, the beginning of the month. So super excited. You can get your hands on those and we are gonna play. So I'm gonna get you pointed down as I do with my Facebook group and hopefully we are going to be okay. So I'm gonna try and reverse the camera here. 
All right, so far so good, right? Um, and who else popped on? We got Lisa. Yay, I'm excited. I don't know if, yep, I can zoom in. Sorry for the craziness right there. <laughs> So please like and hit subscribe and those that little notification bell and all that fun stuff if you're not a subscriber to my channel because it helps me. It helps me reach more people with that whole algorithm thing. Um, and share this with your friends and get them to subscribe as well. I would love that so much um, because I'm going to be do this, doing this Creativity Made Easy live with MJ once a week. For now, it's on Thursdays. That may change um, depending on my um, schedule because I have some things on Tuesdays that aren't working um, for me to go live on Tuesdays because that's my ideal time of wanting to go live because it's a non-gym day. And it is, um, right now, it is a physical therapy day. So I'm trying to kind of work around those schedules right now. So, oh, we got a little heart. All right, let's see what we got in this kit. We've got our stamp set. So let's take a look. We've got the paw print of a cat and a dog, a fish and a bone, best friends forever, which you could use that not just um, on, you know, pet cards. You can use that for your besties, right? Um, you make my heart happy, just like that one. Very versatile sentiments. I'll always be by your side. And here's to a true friend. So these sentiments are great for um, any anyone, anyone um, to, just to share that love. You got an ink spot in here. So this is a stamp, obviously a stamp set kit. Um, and it's old olive. So I will set that aside and I've pulled out my old olive ink pad. The larger one because that's what I like to do. We have our instructions here of all the cards that we'll be making. Super cute. And you have a ruler inside that has both imperial and metric measurements because if you end up with twine or anything like that, ribbon, you have a way to measure that. Plus these are sold in all the markets, the kit collections are. So you are able, um, so we have both types of measurements going on there. So welcome everyone that is here and also those that are catching the replay. I'm very excited about this new adventure on YouTube. Um, also inside, this is new to me, um, kits for every occasion. So you have these symbols. I'm not really sure what that is all about, but that's new. Um, on the back side, it shows you everything that is in your kit, uh, coordinating colors, basic black, basic black, Cajun craze, Calypso coral, copper clay, crumb cake, old olive, and petal pink. And this is a QR code for the subeginner.com um, to learn stamping basics. And this is sukits.com. That QR code will give you detailed instructions on this kit when you scan that QR code. So. We are going to get at it. We got four cards to make. I'm super excited. And I'm really excited that we get to start with this little hound dog, right? Well, maybe I could be mistaken. Oh yeah, because they're kind of similar. They're done similar. You're just interchanging the pet that you're putting on the card. So you have um, this cute little hound dog. It reminds me of the fox and the hound and this cute little cat. So we are going to pull out two card bases. So the card bases for these are, um, you get four of each. So you're doing two of each design, got tags there. So this is one and this is the other. I'm gonna grab two of these bases and two of the other, cause we're gonna make all four. And then you have um, some tags. So you've got two sets of tags. You've got these cute, adorable animals. Look at that. My aunt would love that. Um, I should have sent her a card with the schnauzer on it. She used to, and she would name everyone she had Boots. So I would dog sit for her when I was younger. Um, she lives in Fairport, my Aunt Tony. Um, so we get four each of those. So um, that's pretty awesome, right? Because I, I want to say that's a little bit more than what we need, maybe. So there's extras to do something with, I'm thinking. All right, that's fun. We've got a sheet of dimensionals. We've got some more die cut images. I don't wanna lose that little heart that's there. I might need it for something. Um, these have that you can see pop out these hearts. 
and I'm sure these hearts are used for something else, so I don't want to lose it. So there's that piece. So you got a few of those. There should be four of each one. Okay, so we have four of those. And we have these little circles. So there's die cut circles. Those pop out. And then you have kind of a stitched frame around there. So there's four of those. And those are crumb cake. We have a block, which is your standard D block, which is the same that comes in every kit that you get, as well as your paper pumpkin kits, if you subscribe to paper pumpkin. And we have these cute, adorable foil, um, gold foil hearts. So those are so, so super cute. So we're going to set those aside, but this comes in any uh, kit from the kit collection. You get like the paper pumpkin block that's a little bit thinner. It's not the um, ergonomic blocks that have this curvature in. They're a little bit thinner. They say Stampin' Up! on the side with the logo or the um, copyright. And um, when you order paper pumpkin, which is different from this, that's a subscription, you get one of these in your first kit. And if you stay a subscriber, then every kit after that, you're able to use um, the uh, block on your future kits. I'm going to set that aside because I'm going to grab one of my ergonomic ones. These are your cute little envelopes that coordinate with the card bases. They're white on the inside, but they have a cute little circle here where you can stamp a paw print. So, and that's only because I only know that because I saw other people make it. So... All right, now that we have all that we need, I do have my adhesive. There must be more adhesive around, maybe not. Maybe it's all done with dimensionals, it is. So that's all I'm gonna need is this sheet of dimensionals. We've got our sentiments and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna start out with the green, the um, old olive card bases. Oh, that's got some scratching on it, that's too bad. Defective. That's okay, I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, that's gonna be on the back of the card, so it's not gonna make a difference to me. Actually, I'll save that one for a scrapbook page because I'll be cutting that apart and using that for mats. Ha ha, smart thinking. But if you were to get a kit and there was something wrong with it, you would contact me as your demonstrator or Stampin' Up! and they would definitely um, look into doing something to accommodate the fact that there was an oops with your kit because they're really good about that. So, um, all right. So the first thing we want to do is get the Basset Hound and that cute little cat that has the, the gray colors. I'm really excited. I just love this dog. I can't wait to use a card. So excited. All right, and now they are going this way. So it's your standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I will grab my bone folder and I'm gonna go ahead and varnish that edge there. And we'll do one at a time. We're gonna grab, first we need the tiny paw print. The tinier paw print has more of a round, um, circular kind of um, toe, kind of. So that's for, for a cat, where this would be for a dog, okay? So we'll grab a block. I actually am gonna have a couple blocks handy, so I'm gonna grab my mat here. We're gonna do some stamping on the card base itself. So you're gonna put two paw prints. So I'm gonna grab my old olive, and I'm gonna dab this in here. Probably should stamp it to see if it's good. Oh, yummy. My ink pad is nice and juicy. We're going to stamp one here. And we're going to stamp one here. Perfect. Then we are going to take one of those. Um, I have everything buried. One of these frames. We're going to add some dimensionals on the back of this. So you'll need, so you'll pop out the hearts and you're gonna add three dimensionals. In the corners it looks like, oh no, four, sorry. You need one up here. It's just, you don't wanna cover the hearts. So I am super excited. <laughs> this is so cool. I wish I had a way to, um, which I can't do now. I have to have special program to, um, 
also um, feed into Facebook, but I need a special program for that and I have to do some research. So then I would be live in both places. So next we have our tag. So we're gonna use the same sentiment on this card, it looks like. All right, so let's continue to do some stamping. We will grab our sentiment and we are going to use, you make my heart happy. Makes sense, right? Oops, wrong one. And go ahead and dab that in here. Stamp on a scrap, perfect. And we are going to, the black will go on the base side of the, of the um, tag. So that's what you're gonna do. We're gonna stamp two of these. Perfect. And because we need it for both cards, so we'll pop those out, set one aside for the next card. These go together so easy. So it makes it really easy for you to create something um, kind of with ease. Um, this gets dimensionals. So since the since this Calypso Coral is already popped up, I want this to kind of go in a little bit because this is going to hang off the end. And I don't want the dimensionals to create um, a uneven kind of thing. So since this is, well, I probably should have moved it over a little bit more. Sometimes what it's better to do is put it here and then lay, because it's got to go to the end of the card base. And actually it goes down further. Well, how do you like that? Trying to follow directions and I'm way off, huh? Okay, so it goes to the edge of the card and down low, down, um, yeah, like that. So there's that. That way we have enough room for the kitty cat. And we're gonna add the cat and we're gonna put three dimensionals on the cat. This is so incredibly awesome. Adorable animals. I agree with you, Melissa. I am loving this right now. This is super cool. All right. <laughs> I saw, um, I, I didn't get a chance to watch you, Lori. Thank you for popping on. I saw you, that you had this kit in your hand when I was scrolling through Facebook. And then I'm like, oh goodness, I'm gonna have to go get my kit out because it was still in my box. So <laughs> this kit is absolutely adorable. Yes, so I'm glad I'm able to share it and I'm glad that you found me here. So this is right here, goes on like so. It kind of hangs off a little bit. And that is card number one. Super cute, simple, looks like it took a whole lot of work and it didn't. So love that so much. Um, and now we are going to do another one just like that with this awesome Basset Hound. So we'll grab the non marked up card. And just grab my bone folder. We'll crease these edges. You literally could put this kit together watching one of your favorite TV shows, like 30 minutes tops, if not less. So, um, okay, now we're going to come back in and we're going to get, we up, we're going to gab. We're going to gab. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> we're going to grab our dog print, paw print. And I'm going to stamp off, make sure we got it all seasoned. That looks yummy. I'm loving my ink pad. It's really juicy. And there's that. And we have another one of those. Cute little, so we have all these extra hearts. I wonder what we're gonna use those for. I wonder if we end up using them for something. I won't know until I get to the next directions. I think I've like completely covered my directions. Now that you've done one, you know what you're doing with the next one, right? Sort of, I gotta figure out where the placement of the, of the dog is. But I'm loving this. Love, love, love. All right, let's move this out of the way. And, oh, it's so cute. So this kind of goes in the center straight so that it looks like all this underneath is obviously at an angle. 
grab your tag. And again, let's place the dimensionals on here to make it easier with placement so that I know I'm putting it on the right spot. So we've got that. This is gonna go down and over to the edge of the card, like so. And then our little guy here gets three dimensionals. Oh, he's so cute. Reminds me of Fox and the Hound. Also reminds me of my friend's dog <laughs> that I have yet to meet. So there is that. And there is that. So those are those two cards. How adorable. You got the cat and the dog. <laughs> I just love that Basset Hound. Oh my gosh. I'm so in love. You can even stamp something that coordinates with this stamp um, on the inside. You make my heart happy. Best friends forever or whatever. Or just leave it blank like it is. Now we'll grab the other two bases. This is so exciting. And we are going to do these and grab our instructions. We're gonna flip this around. Oh my, they're so cute. Did I skip something? Nope, okay. All right, so now we got a couple of things to stamp. We'll do one at a time like before. And we'll grab this circle. And this one so you'll have leftover pieces oh I'm totally making a scrapbook page a cat and a dog scrapbook page I can see it it's coming it's coming alternate projects yay okay all right for this one we need I'll always be by your side so let's grab another block if we have them all in a little thing next to me I'll always be by your side and of course, you can switch it up and use whatever sentiment you want. So we've got that. We've got the dog and the cat prints. Make sure I don't mix them up. So we'll do the cat first. So we'll grab the smaller print. And we are going to put one down in this corner. And then we're going to grab our... Looks like it's going to go this way. Yes, so I'm going to put one in this corner and this corner. The beast hound, the basset hound, I thought you said beast. <laughs> I can't see, I gotta scroll up. The basset hound just cracks me up. I know, right? It's so cute. They're so cute. Okay. So now we can put this on with dimensionals. Tell me I didn't lose them already. I mean, I'm not really interchanging anything, so it would be really funny if I lost something. Everything's right here. This is so adorable. I bet. Oh, I'm just so excited. Okay. I was going to say something, and then I got sidetracked. All right, so this will go, leave more space down here, less up here. So about a fourth, maybe mm, not quite a fourth of an inch up there. So make sure it's centered. Actually, I went too high because I don't think that should show. No worries. I can move it. Let's center it. But on the image, doesn't it look like that? Maybe not. Okay, we're good. Just keep going. The cat is going to cover up that white spot. It's not. How's it working? I don't want to stick my head in the picture, but we're going to go like this because I think the bottom will get covered more. Doesn't make a difference. Okay. The kitty cat we need. So we'll grab the other set. This dog is adorable. I love how it's kneeling like that or leaning over. My dog does that and then she attacks me. <laughs> okay, so this cat is going to go here. We need our sentiment stamped first because it's kind of going to overlay. All right, so we have our tags. We have our sentiment. 
We're gonna juice this up. I'll always be by your side. And we're gonna season our stamp. I have a little scrap next to me. And this will go in the center. And center. A lot of opportunity to switch things up though and make it your own. I love that they give extra sentiments and you can do whatever you want with them. So it makes it awesome. Okay. All right. So now we'll bring our card back with our little kitty. And we are going to, so this is going to cover, uh, it's going to cover part of that paw. I should have stamped that over a little bit more, but that's okay. Maybe I'll just go over here to the side. I think that'll be fine as long as the cat doesn't cover too much of the words. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. All right, grab two dimensionals. I wasn't paying mind when I was stamping the paw print. I should have gone over a little bit more. All right, two dimensionals. Oh look, it just placed itself. And we will center this like so. So it's equal to the edge of the card. And then we will, this is a tricky part because on your cat or your whatever pet it is, you, you might have to double up on your dimensionals because it's going to have dimensionals here. So you're gonna need to put double, right? No, you won't, it's even. It's even, so you only put one. Okay, I got it now. So I wanna make sure I'm placing them in the right spot. So kind of higher than. And I honestly would only put those two on because I don't want it to pop off of this. Otherwise I'd have to use more dimensionals and I'm gonna pull in my adhesive. He's laying on his back and he's going to not cover the word kind of pop up like that. So it's even, and I forgot to crease that. So there's that, and then we'll grab a heart, and that is gonna go right down there. There is that card, super cute. So there's that one. And the next one is going to be this cute little dog, the same concept. Guess I'll try and use my bone folder this time. There's that. And this piece, we're gonna need to do some stamping. So I'll grab my piercing mat. We've already stamped our sentiment. We will grab our dog print. And I wanna make sure that I'm closer to the sides over here so that I'm not covering anything. So one at each angle, okay? And then we're gonna stamp one here, right there. Now we've got everything stamped and we can just put it together. Super, super simple, love. I am in love, okay. Loving kits. I love watching people make alternative projects. You don't have to. Sometimes that will require additional products. You can get this kit. This is a kit with a stamp set and ink. So it's a little bit, um, I don't know the price off the top of my head, um, but I can tell you, um, Lori, the, what, uh, hold on, something's happening. Something's happening. Lori the Basset Hound. I need to, I can't see myself. Um. <laughs> no, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna go, okay, all I had to do was click over there. It told me that I could put somebody in timeout for commenting. <laughs> I don't wanna do that. Guess I need to fix that, but that's the first time it popped up. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. That's up a little high. Or is it? That's eh, fine. Okay, now it's craziness. This one, 
we're gonna put down our little dimensionals so, yeah something just popped up in the middle of my screen so I got it I got distracted sorry about that um it's cute because um I was wondering how Rachel Tessman has moderators and there was an option for me to select somebody as a moderator when that popped up and I was like huh that was interesting now I know how they do that <sighs> So cool, the things you learn, right? So I am going to put dimensionals in here and hope I'm not putting them in the wrong spot. And then I'm gonna place my dog down. So I put three dimensionals in that circle. Hopefully it's going to cover his hiney and be where it needs to. That one's gotta come down a little lower. No worries, we can peel that right off. Bring it lower. And there he is. He's gotta be on that tag though. There we go. That's a little closer. Perfect. Grab a heart. Oops. And I did all of this without my take your pick tool. <laughs> Imagine that. So there are those two cards. Stinking adorable. How stinking cute. <laughs> so there are those cards. I'm so in love with them. Oh. I want to make a scrapbook page like right now. You know what I'm going to do <laughs> when I get done here. All right, we are going to flip the camera around. If you're excited about this kit, I hope I inspired you. Yes. Um, I think the kits, let's, well, I can't really. Well, I can. Let me, um, I can minimize that and I can go to, hopefully if I'm signed in, I may not be. Um, if I'm not signed in, I will put the price of it. I'll put the price of the kit in the description of the video, um, just because it'll be easier for me at the moment because I don't want to mess up what I got going on. So um, this was fun. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to flip the camera back around like I do on all of my Facebook videos so that I can um, say goodnight. Yay. <laughs> These cute little critters. Yeah, how cute they are. Aren't they cute? I just love this one. <laughs> So yay. <laughs> and I'm excited to be on YouTube. So hopefully this is going to be a success for me. Um, obviously it's going to be trial and error. So I appreciate you taking time and being here. Feel free to share the video as I said as it's going to help me um, reach more people. And if you are not a subscriber um, or don't have, I mean I assume you would have a YouTube account if you're here but I'm not sure how that works. It's been a long time since I've had my YouTube account. Um, but create an account for yourself and it's it's fun and then you can you know see other people too but please share and thumbs up and all that fun stuff and I will see you Sunday for my Sunday live with MJ time to be announced um I may be switching my time for Sunday lives um because I want it to coordinate with my um gym schedule so we'll see but for now, it's 9 a.m. this Sunday. Um, I'm going to keep it that for this Sunday. But like I said, I'll be revisiting things and it's making sure I have a definitive schedule so you know when and where to find me on what channel and bat station. So <laughs> many stamp and blessings. Thank you so much again for joining me. I will see you again soon. All right. Bye-bye.